This video clip is going to show you how to insert a chart into Microsoft Word. The first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft Word on your computer and you're going to get a blank page appearing. To insert a chart it's as simple as going up to the chart tool at the top of the page and clicking insert table. If you can't see this icon you can go to view toolbars and this is on the standard toolbars and you can click there to see it. Otherwise you can go here you click and hold on this button and then you can drag a chart to whatever size or dimension you need. It automatically inserts this chart kind of small so if you want your spaces or cells a little bit bigger you can go down to the bottom right hand corner and click and hold on this diagonal um, arrows and you can stretch it to be whatever size. You can go in and type whatever you want into the cells just like you would in Microsoft Word. And you can format these just like you would anything else. You can select what you want. You can make it centered or right or bold, underline, any of those things that you would do with just regular text. To go from one cell to another without clicking individually, you can hit your tab key and you can tab between cells. If you get to the very last row and decide you want another row, you can hit tab again and a new row appears. At the top, the link called table will give you everything you need to do with this table or chart. It'll allow you to insert more columns to the left of the cursor, columns to the right of the cursor, rows above the cursor, and remember your cursor is that blinking line down here that shows. Um, it allows you to delete rows or columns. It allows you to split cells in half. It allows you to merge cells. It allows you to auto fit and under table properties you can go in and change the dimensions. Some of those features that I just mentioned were things like auto fit. Let's say that somehow your columns got off a little bit, off center, and you want them all to be the same. So you can select whatever it is you're looking to change by going either to the top of that column and highlighting or to the side of the rows and you can highlight that way or you can just click inside and highlight. But what you need to do is highlight what you want to have auto fitted. You go up to table, auto fit, and this time I want to distribute the columns evenly. And that fixes them back to a standard all equal size column. The other things that were on here were if you wanted to merge cells or split cells, let's say that I wanted another column here for Monday. So I can go up to table, split the cells into two columns, still four rows, and click OK. And now I have this extra column here. It's split Monday into two. Well, now I want to make sure that they're all the same width across, so then I could go back up to auto fit, distribute columns evenly, and they're all back to the same. Um, one other thing you can do is if you want to make all of these one cell across, you can. You can select that you want these six columns to be one, so then you're going to merge cells and they all become one merged cell. So th those are just a few of the very, very simple um, things you can do with a Microsoft chart or table.